guys, I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones here with Slay TV, and we are here at Genius Headquarters at Big Frida's Pride Kickoff. The karaoke party is lit, and we're here with Big Frida, the Queen Diva. Girl down, yeah. you hurry me. Okay, you carried all night, honey. So, how does it feel to be headlining so many Pride events this year? Like, it has to feel amazing. Well, I'm just happy and I'm blessed to be able to speak for the LGBTQ community and headline for a lot of the different prides. It's being able to show my pride and get that out there and show them who I am. So I'm very happy to just be happy. I know that's right. Okay, the pursuit of happiness out here. Now, tomorrow you're at Fire Island, right? Yeah. yeah. And you have a whole set. And so does Lizzo. So I'm wondering, are y'all going to perform one of my favorite songs on the world? Uh, I think we may do oh. something. I want to know, what advice do you have for any LGBT rappers, musicians, and artists coming up in the scene that are trying to find their voice in music? What do you have to say to them? Well, first of all and foremost, you have to be yourself. You have to be consistent. You have to be bold. You have to be encouraged and be inspired by your own self, first of all, before anybody else can believe in you. Consistency is the key, though. I never stop. I continue my journey and my path and my passion for my music, and I just push through. Mm -hmm. I started pushing through, knocking doors down and breaking barriers, and that's what we have to do. We have to let them know we're fierce, okay. and we're not giving up, and we're here to stay. Okay. Yeah. So when you say pushing through, that really kind of sticks to me, because when you live your life unapologetically out in the open, you express yourself who you are, how you are, and what you are. Um, it can kind of be hard to push through at moments. What is that key thing that you kind of hold on to when it's time for you to push through the scene, say Big Frida the Queen Diva is here and I'm ready to play? Well, um, I, my, my remedy is to stay positive and to pray and thank God for all of the mis many blessings that come my way. But prayer helps me with everything. It helps me to push through every obstacle in my life. Okay, so real quick, if you can tell somebody how to bounce, like in a few words, what would be your like tutorial? Because I'm trying to learn how to bounce. I can twerk, okay, but I can't bounce. So the key to it is practice at home in the mirror. Okay. That way you can see the way that your body moves. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be able to bend those knees Touch those ankles Ow. and bust open. Ow! Bust it open! <laughs> so this last EP, Third World Bounce, what was the inspiration for it? Um, just represent New Orleans first and foremost, but just being able to incorporate bounce music sound and then take it to the next level of trying to make it become more mainstream. It was just a fun EP and the, the energy and the love and the people that I had in the process of making the EP was phenomenal and we did an amazing job. I can tell it's I'm telling you, rent and karaoke, them my songs. Them my songs. Them Girl, get me to work. I'll be twerking. I'm gonna learn how to shake. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. I just wanna say thank you so much for talking with Slay TV. I got one more question. So paper magazine. Oh yeah. Just dropped your cover today, okay? Yeah, they did. Everything. What what like just what was that like? Just tell me about it. It was just so amazing to be able to be on the cover of Paper Magazine for Pride Month. So it's let me know that we are pushing through. We're continuing to break barriers. And people recognize the hard work and consistency that I put in. So if you want to be, you know, in that limelight, you have to put in the hard work and be consistent at whatever you may do. Whatever your craft is, get out there and go get it. Paper. Okay, secure that bag, honey. Yes, honey. Collect the coins. I came to slay. Ow. You heard me. Okay. Happy Pride, baby.